Hey everybody, it's Todd Bishop from GeekWire. I am here just outside of Pittsburgh at Powercast. This is a company that's part of this trend of wireless over the air charging. So not just putting a device on something that charges it wirelessly, but actually transmitting the power over the air. I'm here with Eric Beal, who is the principal engineer at Powercast. And you've got something really interesting right here, Eric. That's right. Uh, this is our new product that we call the Power Spot Transmitter. So uh, if you think of a Wi-Fi hotspot, this is a power spot. And what this guy does is he sends RF energy through the air, which is then taken out of the air by our receiver chips, and we can recharge batteries. We're targeting right now all those peripheral devices that go around the phone. So your earbuds, your smart watches, your fitness bands, headphones, things like that, where you're carrying a separate charger around just to charge each individual device. It's sort of a headache. So we think if we can get our receiver chips embedded into those products, we can recharge them wirelessly and you'll never have to plug them in again. So this is called the Power Spot. Yes. So this is going to be the, your first consumer product? That's right. So we've had several industrial products. We did a consumer product way back in uh, 2008 with a Christmas tree, but this is our first consumer facing transmitter geared specifically towards those consumer devices. So the idea is you're going to have some kind of peripheral device like a fit fitness watch or something like that. And I know you've got a demo here of mm -hmm. some items that were retrofit. Right. So uh, we're, right now, this uh, power spot, we're expecting it to come out quarter three of this year, but obviously it's got to have something to recharge. So uh, we're in discussions with OEMs right now. We want to get our tech embedded natively into their end product. We're also kicking around uh, you know, the idea of making some of our own end product to work with the power spot transmitter. Here's a retrofitable battery pack that we developed. So you can hear when I get close to the transmitter, it beeps, it lets me know I'm in range. And then when I move away, it beeps again, letting me know I'm out of range. So the idea being, as I put something in range, it beeps, hey, I'm recharging, and I can recharge you in an overnight type of time frame. And then when you're done, you grab it, you go. There's no plugging in. There's no thinking about it. You just set it down, and it can recharge. So you have these demonstrable sticks here, yeah. the, the demonstrator sticks. And so these are LED lights, and you've got the actual chips that yep. you can see right there on the stick. So what does this show? Yeah, so, so what's going on here, and I, I like to show these guys because it's the simplest demonstration of how the technology works. So the amount of power you get from the power spot depends on how far away you are. The closer you get, the more power you get. And it's really easy to see that with the LEDs here. So if I get really close, my LED gets really bright because I'm getting a lot of power. And then as I move away, I get less power. But the point is, anywhere that these are lighting up, I'm receiving power. So you could put these devices around the power spot and you recharge many of them at the same time. So that's how it works. So what happens if you take this and put it to the side or to the back? So the transmitter here is sort of facing the camera right now. So it's pointing out that way. So it'll probably drop off as I come around the side. So you can see, you know, the directionality is pointing that way towards the face of the transmitter. And as it comes around the side, I get obviously less power because my LED gets more dim. Got it. Okay, so this is the power spot coming out in the third quarter of this year for around $50. Yeah, here at about a $50 price point for the consumer. Got it. And long term, will I ever see the day when I just walk into a room and all my devices just sort of wirelessly charge without me? Well, even? I, sh I sure hope so. I think that's what, you know, that's what I personally want and that's what we're working towards. This is where we are right now given current uh, regulatory climate and, and what we can do with our tech. So uh, the nice thing is that if the rules change regulatory wise, we're poised to perfectly go after that stuff and uh, think that we can really get uh, what everyone wants where we're just having wirelessly recharging of all our devices. Great. Eric, thanks very much. Thank you. All right. That is part of our GeekWire HQ2 coverage in the Pittsburgh area. We're here at PowerCast, and we've been talking about the power spot. You can follow all of our coverage at geekwire.com HQ2. Thanks for watching, everybody.